For the people of Haiti, the poorest country in the Western Hemisphere, misery just never seems to end, decade after decade. The economy in shambles, natural disasters, political corruption, violence. In 2021, the crisis in Haiti only went from bad to worse. In July, President Jovenel Moïse was assassinated when gunmen stormed his home. His wife was wounded but survived. Arrests were made, but it remains unclear why Moïse was killed and who was behind it. Stories are beginning to surface that Moïse had a list of dozens of government officials involved in drug trafficking and gun running. He was supposedly preparing to turn the list over to U.S. authorities when he was killed. The list has never been found. Mr. President, John Zarella. Shortly after he became president, we spent the day with Moïse touring the countryside. Mr. President, this is a signature project of yours out here, right? Yes. It's going well. It's, Look it's 45 days work, but we have more than 30 years here. The digging of, of, the, of, the, of the canals was never done, but we are working in 25 days, we will finish all the job. Instead, the island nation's image took another damaging hit with the president's assassination. A month later, in mid-August, a major earthquake hit the southern peninsula west of the capital of Port-au-Prince. More than 2,200 people died. The earthquake and the president's assassination served to widen the vacuum of power in Haiti. Violent gangs have quickly risen to fill that void. In one brazen act, kidnapping 17 missionaries, five were released. The other 12, after months in captivity, recently escaped to freedom. This man, Jimmy Cherizier, is the top gang leader. Barbecue, as he is known, is head of G9, a loosely unified group of nine gangs. He pins the blame for the kidnappings on the government. Depuis le président Jovenel Moïse est là, c'est qu'on gère pile kidnapping. Mais avec la mort président Jovenel Moïse, phénomène kidnapping n'a pas augmenté parce que nous qu'a dit l'état démissionné pour nous pas dit l'état pas exister du tout. So much so that thousands of Haitians continue risking their lives attempting to reach the United States. In September, pictures of U.S. Border Patrol agents on horseback aggressively rounding up some of the refugees made world headlines. Sadly, stories of misery are the only headlines Haiti seems to ever make. For CGTN, I'm John Zarella.